Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to episode 3 of Unit 8 for Grade 10. In this episode, we will learn about writing and translation. Through simple steps and technique, I assure you that you will write perfect essays. Now, let's learn about the essay first. What are the main parts of the essay? The essay consists of three parts, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. As you can see, the body has two paragraphs in it. What are the parts of the paragraph? Now, each paragraph contains a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentences. What does that mean? It means that the topic sentence comes at the beginning of the paragraph. And in it, you have to write the topic followed by a sentence. And the sentence should include the main idea of the topic you're talking about in this paragraph. The supporting sentences are sentences followed by the topic sentence to give more ideas about the topic itself. And then, you will conclude the paragraph with a concluding sentence. A concluding sentence is basically repeating the main idea you mentioned and then using different words, okay? So this is the paragraph. Now let's go back to the parts of the paragraph. If we noticed that the body has two parts, the paragraph one and the paragraph two, you will see that every single essay consists of four main paragraphs. And each paragraph should have a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentences. Okay, now, the first paragraph you're going to write is called the introduction. And you all know what introductions are. But you have to remember that every introduction should have a hook, and a thesis statement. What do I mean by a hook? We all know that the hook is the tool used to grab the fish in the sea. But the hook in writing means the sentence you use to grab the attention of the reader and make them willing to read more. This is what hook means. What about thesis statement? A thesis statement is basically stating your opinion on that topic. And then you follow your statement with the, the main ideas you're going to discuss throughout this essay. Now, let's take an example. If the question why, was, why students should eat breakfast every day? The introduction will be, a lot of people, especially young people, go through the day without having breakfast. Many people believe that it is not necessary or they say that they don't have time for that and begin their day with no meal. I believe that everyone should eat breakfast before going to their activities. The purpose of this paper is to show the importance of breakfast, especially for students. Now, you see the sentences in yellow. The first one is the hook. I used it to grab the attention of the reader and make them willing to know more and read more throughout the essay. And at the end, I stated my opinion. I said what I think about this topic. And then I mentioned the main ideas I'm going to speak about throughout the essay. Now, before you write, you have to plan, and the plan called the outline. Now, in the outline, you have to write the introduction, the body, and then the conclusion. And as we said, the introduction has hook and thesis statement, and then followed by the body, paragraph one and paragraph two. 
Paragraph 1 should have a topic sentence, supporting ideas, concluding sentence. And paragraph 2 also should have a topic sentence, supporting ideas and concluding sentence. And then you will write the conclusion. The conclusion is basically restating your thesis, rewriting your opinion again at the end. And then you will summarize the main ideas. Now, you will ask me, how do I write? And I will tell you, you have to use the tree strategy. What do I mean by the tree strategy? Now, take a look at this. The tree strategy is basically T for topic, R for reason, E to explain, and then E to end. Topic, you have to clearly state your topic and then mention two or three reasons as why you chose this opinion. And then explain furthermore, write more about the reasons you provided. You gave me good reasons, but I need you to explain more and convince me, persuade me more. And then you have to end this essay. Ending this essay is basically wrapping up everything. How do I wrap everything I did? You will restate your opinion and summarize the whole thing. Now, let's take a look at the outline for the writing. If the question was, do you think mobile phones should be allowed in school in not less than 12 sentences meaning 140 words plan and write an essay persuading your school administration of your opinion on using mobile phones in school now in the introduction as we said we need to write a hook a hook can be a simple sentence but has a really uh, attractive idea to grab the attention of the reader or you can simply raise questions. Why do we raise questions? Because we will keep the, the reader thinking. And when we keep them thinking, they are willing to read more. So I chose to start my introduction with a hook that is a question. Who doesn't have a mobile phone these days? So this question will grab the reader's attention. And then I will follow it by a thesis statement where I will state my opinion and give the main ideas that I will discuss. For example, I will say mobile phones should be allowed in schools for two reasons. To stay connected with family and friends and to be used as a learning source. So when the person I'm, I'm writing for reads my thesis, they will understand that I stated that I'm with this topic. I want the mobile phones to be allowed in school. It's clear and stated. And then I gave them focus to the main ideas that I will discuss throughout this essay, which are the reason number one is to stay connected with your family and then use the mobile phone as a learning source. I will follow the introduction with the body. And we said that the body has two parts, paragraph one and paragraph two. And each paragraph should have a topic sentence, supporting ideas, and a concluding sentence for paragraph one and paragraph two. So in paragraph one, I will add reasons. Remember the three strategy. The reason I will mention is students stay connected with family and friends. Students connect with parents and vice versa, okay? In paragraph two, I will explain furthermore to prove my point and to persuade the person who's reading of my point. So when I explain the mobile phone as a learning source, I will say we can use the tools in the mobile phone like the calculators, the maps, finding educational websites, supplementing lessons with digital material, providing essay access to more information. After planning my body, I will write the conclusion. And the, it's very important that you restate your opinion and summarize in the conclusion. For example, you will write, 
mobile phones should be permitted to use in school in order to communicate with family and friend and use it as a learning source. So here I mentioned the ideas that I already discussed and I restated my opinion. Let's take a look at the introduction. When you plan and write an outline, writing the essay becomes really easy because you already wrote the ideas that you will discuss. All you have to do is elaborate on them and write them in full sentences explaining what the idea is. So let's read the introduction together. Who doesn't have a mobile phone these days? And you see I highlighted this sentence in yellow because this is the hook where I grab the attention of the reader. The amazing thing about mobile phone is that they are no longer used for calling or texting only. They have become a necessary multi-tool device where technology is found at your fingertips. With this in mind, should students be allowed to use mobile phones in schools? I believe they should and not just be allowed to use mobile phones, they should be required to use them in school. Mobile phones don't just allow students to stay connected with family and friends, they are also an excellent learning source. You can see the sentences highlighted in yellow. This is the thesis statement. Ask yourself, how do I write a thesis statement? Remember the word statement is stating your opinion and then mentioning the main ideas you will discuss. In body one, uh, paragraph one, to begin with, I started the paragraph with to begin with. So I show the reader that this is the start. Mobile phones make it possible for students to stay in touch with family and friends. A student can call home and ask family member to bring them a forgotten assignment or lunch money or to come pick them up if they are sick. Now, my main idea that I've written in the outline is that students will stay connected to their friends and family. Here, I explained how are they going to stay connected to their friends and family and why they have to be connected with their friends and family. And then I added the word also. Also is a connector. Also, mobile phones allow parents to keep track of their children before, during, and after school. Using the word also means I have another idea that will persuade you even more. The sentence is highlighted in yellow as well because this is the second idea I've written in the outline. And of course, there is always the possibility of a student needing to contact a parent because of an emergency situation. When used responsibly, a mobile phone can be an excellent, excellent communication tool. This is how I wrapped up the paragraph. You can see that every single idea I wrote in the outline, paragraph one, I've written it in this paragraph. And I also explained and elaborated more on these ideas. Now, let's take a look at paragraph two. In addition, so this is the second paragraph, and I started it with in addition to show the reader that this paragraph is related to the one before. In addition, mobile phones are considered as a fabulous learning source. So I mentioned that it's a learning source. Students can use tools such as the calculator, the map finder, and the calendar. I mentioned the tools that I already written in the outline. Plus, there are lots of great learning websites we can use in class to facilitate the learning experience. Teachers can take advantage of mobile phones by providing students with resources to find more information about the topic. I'm showing the reader all the reasons I have that it's pro-school and pro-the students. I'm trying to persuade them that this is a good idea. Moreover, 
Mobile phones can give students access to more information, letting them research more about the topic while having class discussion. The conclusion is, we must accept that we live in a world of technology and the mobile phones are important and a very useful part of that world. I used in conclusion at the beginning of this paragraph to show the reader that I am ending. All in all, here I'm summarizing. Mobile phones improve communication and provide learning sources. Teachers and administrators must find ways to add this excellent multi-tool in our school. And also the writer added an opinion at the end so the administration will consider his idea. This is how your essay should look like. See, one, two, three, four, four paragraphs, full essay, and very informative. Try it at home, I'm sure you can do it. Now, let's learn about translation. Translation is one of the easiest things ever, but very challenging. But if you followed these steps, I'm sure that you can do excellent translations. First, you have to translate the meaning and not the words. Second, avoid word-to-word -word translation. Now the last tip for translation is don't leave spaces for words you don't know. Let's take a look at this sentence and try to translate it into good English. Ali, في السنوات القادمة سنكون قادرين على شراء الثلاجات الذكية التي ستخبرنا بشكل آلي عندما ينفذ الطعام. Now, following the tips I gave you, translate this sentence. I'll give you seconds. Read it all, know the meaning, and then start translating. Ali, in the coming years, we will be able to buy smart refrigerators which will automatically inform us when we are running out of food. Let's take another example. Nasser, معك حق وسنرى نهاية الازدحام المروري وقلة حوادث السيارات. You are right. We will also see the end of traffic jams and less car accidents. So the episode summary is, we discussed how to write a persuasive essay, we discussed the introduction, body, paragraph, and conclusion, and don't forget to check the rubrics for writing a good essay. And then we wrapped up the whole episode with how to tackle translation. Thank you for watching and see you soon. <laughs>